Can you hear the train? Hello YouTube, we're replacing the water pump in the Ford 302 in the pickup. It's not going to be a how-to video, but first thing we did, we took the shroud off. Well, first thing we did, we drained, took the bottom hose off. Then we took the shroud off, set the shroud back. That lets you get down between the shrouds, you can imagine, to take the fan blade off. There you go. That rated 10,000 RPM. Woohoo! Our battery charger fan's kicking in. We're charging our battery while we're working. Charged up just enough to get it started. We had it on our radio in the shop. Sorry about the fast cam, but uh, this would be the only air conditioner rack you got to take off. There's two bolts down on the water pump. This is more or less for my reference. Then there's these two bolts. So this bolts over to the whatever. You have to take the bed compressor off. Uh, like these brackets. See? The alternator bracket goes over top of this. Got a bug crawling on me. And we're just going to swing the alternator up out of the way. And then tighten this bolt. So we'll take the bolt out of the bracket back there. Goes in the back. Get snagged here. And we'll just swing the alternator up out of the way. Uh, we're going to buy a new radiator hose. Uh, you'd swear that's where it's leaking. But I'm positive it ain't. Because that's old and dry. I had this thing run about an hour ago and it was pouring out. So. That's about all you get to see till I get the pump ripped out of there and then you can I might throw a few clips like when I remove this bracket and stuff. Uh, it might help somebody but I'm not really into doing mechanic how-to videos. Uh, with my health and everything and I'm up on a styrofoam block up here all shaky and I'm up on my homemade car ramp so we'll take a picture of that so you can see how it got it jacked up in the air. Okay can you see that bracket? That went here on the water pump, here and there. I swung it out of the way, tighten this bolt up. Don't over tighten this bolt. That goes, that's like a die cast aluminum crap right here. That bracket on a Ford, you will strip it. The only choice you'll have is to try to grind some off back in there and put a nut back in there and drill out the hole. It's only to snug this up while you're tightening the belt and for a pivot point. It's not really holding the alternator tight. That's the adjuster, the long slide thing. See? Okay, and who's bright engineer? Who's the bright engineer at Ford to put a 3 8 head on this bolt that actually holds the water pump? Might as well rant about that. Of course, you had to remove that hose. Another trick is put a pliers on there and wobble it around. I see my battery symbol's low. Uh, we're going to buy a new one of these. Don't take no chances. Buy a new one. This is a pain in the you know what to replace. Buy a new one of these when you're replacing the water pump. Don't forget, I'm lecturing. You'll regret it. That is not fun to fidget that dang thing on there. I've had to do it. And you're this far tearing it apart to get down to it because with the alternator kind of in the way, well, it's not bad, but now's the time to do it. There. Trust me. Okay, next we'll bring you back when we get this bracket off. Not a how-to video, but it still might help somebody. It's kind of for my reference view and all this stuff here, but ain't that nice how the alternator's up out of my way now? Just tuck the heater hose back in there. I'm not going to overwork on this. It started raining. I had to go take a break for a half hour. So, sun's out. We're getting back to work. Less talk, more work. Okay, see that bracket? That's where it goes. Two bolts here, put it back in. These two bolts went down here. See that? We're getting closer. Next thing you do, you got to remove the power steering bracket. I'm going to get a piece of cardboard and I'm going to put all these bolts in here and I'll make a pattern for this water pump because they're different lengths. So I'll make a little cardboard thing and I'll show you when I'm done uh, where the bolts are at. There goes the whistle. We're going to stop recording. Okay, see where that hole where the screwdriver stuck in? That's that long bolt on the power steering pump. And the other two holes there were bolts right there on the water pump. Remember, you got a short one back there behind the pulley for the adjuster. There's two different lengths. That way you can fit it in there with a pulley in the way. So. We're going to snap a photo of that. A lot of this from my own reference because it could be two or three days and my brain will forget how I did this. So stay tuned for a little more. Okay, there's one bolt holding it. I about to tip my finger. See my little cardboard template? Those are all the bolts that don't have a bracket. And they all need clean. They're rusted, corroded. They're hard to get out of the hole. you got to turn the ratchet and pull. you got to kind of cock the deep well socket sideways. If you've ever had to do that and pull as you're turning, 
There you go. We'll get it off here and we'll see what it looks like. There better be a leak in it because that's where the water was coming from. Okay, we think we found the leak down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see the little bit of that gasket hanging. Look at all that corrosion buildup in there. See the main bolts that seal the water pump? Three over there. Three over here and then the three along the top. And then your big timing chain cover. Okay, here's what we're using so we don't kill our chest off. We got a pair of sweatpants. An old, we got a lot of padding up around the radiator. See, so you don't dig into that. There we go. I think that's where it was leaking. It's not leaking out of the weep hole. You have a hole in the water pump. I might as well show you. See that hole there on the top? Turn it around. See the hole on the bottom? It felt dry when I took the pulley off, so I knew it had to be leaking out of the gasket. That's just uh, PB blaster spray. Uh, we had a bolt. We kept spraying alongside the bolt because that's what's gunk on it. We'll take a picture of one of the bolts that's got all the gunk on it. But that's it for this episode. Uh, I might show one as I'm putting it back together. Another short video, but thanks for watching.